Hey, what's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a freaking awesome day. Normally it would be that way because of some plants, which I did get. And also my wife is out of town. So she was like, you better not be going and getting a bunch of plants and animals. So I was like, okay. And then she left and I, I went and I got some plants and animals. Uh, so we'll be talking a little bit about some of the stuff that I got. And I have noticed that because she doesn't really, you know, care the species of the animals that I do have or what they really look like or is interested in having a conversation. I've just been kind of sticking with every time she notices an extra fish, I just say, oh yeah, that one gave birth. It's It's been working out so far. And she doesn't follow my channel, so me admitting it to you guys is cool. Yeah. So uh, I have a bunch of exciting stuff. I got some projects. I'm going to be making a spiderwood tree. We'll have a video for that. Um, and I'm also going to be making a immersed floating driftwood um, moss branch. That uh, I'll make a video for that because uh, you can grow moss submerged and immersed. And that's what I want. I'm going to have both. Uh, and then also, the joy for this video is going to be my pea puffers I got. Yeah! So, uh, those look nothing like my other fish. Uh, Alright, so my wife asked, I'm just going to have to say they were they were born special. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, give me a minute. Uh, this video, we will talk about uh, the pea puffers. I also had a new subscriber, Jason Safford. And... Um, uh, who else? Oh, Joe, uh, Joe Townsend. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Glad you're here. And um, I, I have officially hit over 100 subscribers, and with that came a perk. Um, I can now go live, which is awesome. So uh, when you're done watching this whole video, uh, a few of you subscribers live overseas. Tell me what time frames work for you anytime you want to have a conversation live, and I'll, I'll go live just to chit chat with one sub. Hey, so anyone interested in going live, start dropping, you know, what times work for you, what days, and stuff like that, and that'll give me an idea. Um, you know, so uh, Dave Woods, let's talk, bro. All right, a few of you others that have been here uh, for a while. So uh, I want to thank everyone. Uh, especially all my subs who have been following me and having conversations with me that helped me get to this point so I could have an extra perk. I think, I think going live is cool. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I got some work to do. This video is going to cut and then we're going to go and check out the pee buffers I got. Yeah. All right. So we are back. These are my, let's see if I can get a close up. Pea puffers. They're very, very tiny. They are also uh, carnivores, so they will not eat fe fish food. So, bloodworms or, you know, small live mealworms, uh, crustaceans. They like snails. Now, uh, this tank I had built for them, it's been a surprise. Um, there's one hiding back here. Um, they do not like crowding. And mixing them with other fish is not a good idea either. And uh, how much space they like, they are territorial. So it does benefit you to have a fully planted tank because each one will claim its spot. And I also want to mention that if you're going to have more than one, it can't be males. Okay, so I got lucky. I have three in here, which is pushing it on the gallons. Each one would prefer about five gallons of space to itself. However, I have one male and two females, so uh, that works out perfect. Nobody's going to pick on each other. You have another male in there, they're going to fight to the death, trying to get the ladies. Um, they are egg scatterers, so what will happen is, is the female will scatter her eggs. I have a lot of moss growing in here, some uh, Subsawalski moss, which is actually a fern. We've talked about that before. Back there's Dragonstone with some Christmas moss going on there. Uh, so what they will do, it's pretty odd. Um, the female will uh, blast your eggs 
over a area of uh, dense vegetation, usually uh, moss. So that's why I have this giant pile of moss that's been growing there for about a month. Then the male will go over and he'll fertilize the eggs. Now here's the strange part. Pea puffers will defend their eggs to the death. However, as soon as the eggs are born, they will turn around and eat their babies. It, it makes no sense. I love you kids. I will defend you to the death. But as, as soon as you can swim, lunchtime. You know, but fish have odd behavior. Uh, so these guys also like snails. So if you've got a bunch of mystery snails uh, in your tank, they will peck those off the glass and gobble them up. There are three puffer fish in here. And I, I, I wish I could just... They're, they're exploring their new territory. Oh, 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 here's one. Yeah. They're exploring their territory. Which spot's mine? All right, so parameters for these guys. They're not difficult to take care of. And they're genuine, uh, genuinely not that expensive either. It's, it's just they can be hard to come by. Um uh, they have a wide range of parameters that they like. Uh, they do like it warmer, so 78 to 82 uh, is perfect. And then a general hardness, uh, general hardness of five, carbonate hardness of five. You can go slightly above that as long as you keep your parameters stable. And a pH, they prefer it slightly acidic. Uh, so I am going to be. Uh, I placed uh, little bits of driftwood in here, but I'm going to be building them like a little driftwood tree type thing I'm going to hang upside down in there as well to help make it uh, an acidic environment and um, uh, if, I forgot if I mentioned or not yeah pH 6.5 to 7.5 so if, if you do go above 7 that's okay let's see if we can find one more so we don't oh look there's one back there look he's eyeballing that snail Oh, uh, I missed it. Like, literally, just like that, they vanished. As soon as I acclimated them and dumped them in, I, I, I thought that there was some David Copperfield stuff going on. They were, like, instantly gone. It took me, like, 20 minutes to find them. That's just how tiny. And, yes, these are these are adults. Um, but they're awesome to look at. Um, and they are carnivores. So, live insects, you know, where you can buy frozen bloodworms and feed them that and whatnot. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed... Uh, looking at them, we didn't do a large discussion, but like I said, this video was more directed to say, hey, we hit 100 subscribers, we can now go live, and I can answer questions live, you can ask anything about any of the tanks I have, or your own personal tanks, and you'll get answers right there on the spot, instead of uh, having to wait for a message uh, reply from me, and um, hey, well, you know, if something I don't know, we'll figure it out together, but yeah, pee puffers! I have no idea what happened. I just, I, I saw it, and then I was like, give it to me. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Look at that pea puffer. So cool. These are tiny. And they are freshwater pea puffers, by the way. It's not a saltwater deal going on. And these are to the max. And they live many, many years. So plan on having them stick around for quite some time. You know, they're not like a lot of your tropical fish that only live a couple years. There we go. I don't name any anymore. Oh, and by the way, the people who saw my uh, video about dehumidifier and it being uh, toxic because it actually collects ammonia, Dave did not make it. He died today. So that was unfortunate. And uh, I, I helped him to the best of my ability. I hand fed him for over four days and gave him fresh, clean water, and he was just too far gone. That I think what it is is that he I did have him for a couple of years and he was just old and the fish that did survive are still young and juveniles and they were just they managed to take it uh, but yeah he passed away sad face for dead Dave my platy so I won't be naming any more fish for now and they're just fish. But, uh, yeah, like I said, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them. And also, don't forget to drop those time zones you're in. 
and uh, I will start working out times when we can, you know, do live chats if you uh, maybe with a few of you at the same time, and we can do questions for as long as you want. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching, and like always, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if you're not, do something about it. Right now, I recommend going and getting a pee puffer, but, you know, that's because I, got, I just got a pee puffer. Although the song, see how quickly this vanish? We're literally just looking at a pee puffer, and then poof, it's gone. All right, thanks everyone. We'll catch you next time. Many more videos to come, and remember, always feel free to drop a suggestion for a video in the future, but I do have a bunch lined up, so we got all kinds of goodies going on uh, later, next week, and the following week, etc. So have a wonderful night, and uh, we'll catch you next time.